Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a few handy tips on how to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Y for those of you who are not aware. In this video we're going to be using various apps, various tweaks and stuff such as that. So uh, tip number one would be to install a compilation of tweaks and scripts. Uh, basically a zip file. In this video I'm going to be using a high velocity version 1.0 by a fellow XDA developers member. And uh, for this for this tweak compilation you are going to need a custom kernel that supports init.d so uh, basically most most custom kernels have this so you should be on a custom kernel it doesn't really matter whose custom kernel is just look at the features and see if it supports it anyways once you are on such a custom kernel uh, the next thing which you would want to do is you are going to download the zip file in this video like I said I'm going to be using high velocity I have placed a download link for that in the link in the video description. You can download it to a zip card to your SD card. Once downloaded, you can now power off the phone and we're gonna boot into recovery mode. So turn off the Samsung Galaxy Y and boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. Also, if your custom kernel does not have Cocoa Mod Recovery integrated, you can download it from the link in the video description as well. I am on Wide XP's kernel and this one has Cocoa Mod Recovery, so for me there is no need to flash the zip file. I'm already on it. Okay, so before you flash the high velocity tweaks, go to mounts and storage and just make sure to mount system. Mount it like this. And now go down, choose it from SD card. Then choose it from SD card. Now locate the zip file. So let's have here it is high velocity version 1.0. Even though it says better, a lot of people say that it's great. So, anyway, choose this. Then choose yes, install. Wait for the installation to be complete. And it is done within seconds, as you can see. And now just reboot your phone. And now that is up to you if you can feel the speed and improvements. Uh, what this velocity tweaks pack contains is um, I'm actually gonna show you on the screen now with scrolling text on what are the main features of this pack while my phone is booting up please take ta some time to read what this pack contains And okay, so now that you are aware of what this pack contains, we are gonna move on to the next step. And okay, so after the tweaks compilation has been installed, I'm leaving it up to you to notice if there are any changes in the performance. So anyways, let's go on. The next thing which I would recommend is to go to settings, display, and if you have animations enabled, um, either use some or absolutely no. I would highly recommend to just use no animations because they also kind of slow down. As you can see now, without these animations, it is starting up stuff very quickly. As you can see, I access the settings, for example, very quick. While if I have animations on, for example, to all, uh, it's just that the animation takes a while, and as you can see, it, it, it's kind of slow. So yeah, this is just some small improvements, but still it helps. So yeah, this was my tip number two on how to speed it up. My next suggestion would be to stay away from live wallpapers because they also slow down the phone a bit. As you may know, especially bigger wallpapers who have much animations uh, running at the same time, they really slow down the phone and you might notice some decrease in the speed while in the transitions, for example, when you browse through the pages or when you go to your app driver and stuff such as that. So. I would highly recommend if you want to have a faster Galaxy Y to just use a normal uh, PNG or GPAG wallpaper instead of a live wallpaper. I'm not saying live wallpapers are bad, but this is if you want to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Y. My next suggestion is to uninstall any useless apps that you have installed because some apps even run in the background. So always try to keep your Galaxy Y clean. Always delete apps which you do not want to use anymore, which you, have which you are tired of. And so, uh, as you can see at the moment, for me personally, I only have the most needed, an XDA app, 
which I browse the forums when I'm bored, Titanium Backup, which lets me back up my apps, Angry Birds whenever I'm bored, and the others are just the system apps which come with the Galaxy Y, which are, uh, of course, uh, useful because you need a camera, you need a music player, and you need a Gmail, and so on and on. So, always uh, try to clean your keep your Galaxy Y clean, always remove useless apps which you do not want to use anymore and uh, you should notice some improvements in this as well because like I said less apps, uh, that's less apps running in the background and uh, that's best now of course you can uh, kill these apps um, at once, let's say at once by just cleaning your RAM like this but eventually when you go back to your launcher the apps will just start up back so yeah like I said try to keep your, keep your Galaxy Y clean and on top of that I would like to add that installing the app called Advanced Task Killer is also a must because what this app does is basically it lists you the uh, apps which are running in the background and you get a choice to pick which ones you want to stay and which ones you want to kill. Now, of course, there are always leftover apps, just for example, the browser which have used before, and it like the process isn't terminated and it's still running in the background, and uh, you can kill it from here very easily. And the best part in this app is that you can also kill it along with the other app, with the other apps. So you can also kill the advanced task killer app itself as well. As you can see, I can enable it and disable it. So yeah, right now I choose absolutely everything to be killed from this stuff here. I choose kill selected apps. And that is how you also temporarily kind of free up some some space, you know, kill, kill some apps. And okay, let's move on to the next suggestion. My next suggestion would be to install Cedar. Now this app is a bit uh, complex to be explained about, but basically it somewhat reduces work. So, uh, this is a free app, um, it costs money in the Play Store, but, but the developer has left a download link for free in his official XDA developer's thread in the forums. So anyways, download the AP key and simply install this app. Once it is installed, you open it and you basically have just one enable button from here and that is how you have to do. Of course, this app requires root, so we need to allow it access. And okay, basically, you turn it on. You can also set it to start up on boot, and that is all. By following these tips, you should have uh, a bit more faster Galaxy Y now, acting a bit more smooth, and so on. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. These were uh, some tips on how to speed up your Samsung Galaxy Y. Please give a thumbs up to this video if it helped you, and you may also leave a comment as feedback. A huge thanks to the developers who have made these scripts, who have made these apps and everything else. And yeah, that is all. Please check the my YouTube channel for more videos as well as the blog for more Galaxy Wire related stuff. Thank you for watching everyone and goodbye.